Uh, hello guys, today in this uh, tutorial I will basically introduce to a new library called as download.js Download.js guys is an alternative to a file saver library File saver.js as you all know it's a library by which you can download any file from the internet from URL in JavaScript in client side So if you just type here file saver.js this is a library I'm talking about We have seen this library guys uh, the first it basically it's a save as implementation it's a very popular library and similar to the, that guys we have a, another library called as download.js this is another library similar to file saver library but it, it also works on the browser client side it allow, uh, allows you to basically download any file from the internet from a URL text file image file blob any sort of thing it has its own Node.js package. You will see 247 weekly downloads are there. We will basically uh, show you an example on how to use this in a uh, in the browser. So in the browser, guys, you just need to simply include the library here. First of all, we have included the library download.js in the root directory. This is the minified version and the download version. You will see that. So just download it and after that it's very easy. So in the JavaScript part right here and now if you want to basically download any file here guys. So we will simply call the constructor here of download. So just type here download and here you just need to give hello world. This is some content. So here we are downloading some text file. Here you can also give custom file name as well. Let's suppose output.txt and then the mem type. So the third argument, it's a plain text file. So first is the actual content in the file. The second one is the output file name, which is output.txt. And the third argument is the mem type. So here it's a plain text file. And if I basically execute this guys, you will see automatically our output.txt file will be downloaded. If I open this file here. So here guys, if you see it will open this file let me open hello world this is some content so whatever we written right here guys it has been printed out so here we can uh, download any sort of file you can even download it from a uh, internet as well let's suppose I make this as dynamic I can have a text area and we can give it an ID of text here and then we can have a simple button download so we can basically have an ID of button so how we can do that uh, we can basically say here document dot get element by ID uh, button And here guys what we can do we can basically get the text here the value of the text area from here and then we can simply call the download here pass the text and the output file name is output.txt and then we can pass text slash plain. So this application is very simple guys you write something here click download if I open that you will now see. So whatever we written right here, it is successfully saved right here. So it's very simple guys. You can replace here any mem type here, CSV image. Let's suppose if you want to have a image downloaded, we can also have input type text. And that's all. And we will give it a URL. So here we can basically enter, we can say URL document.getElementById url.value. After that, we can simply download that URL. That's all. So basically, it's a very easy alternative to file saver. You just need to call the download function and just pass the URL. It will actually download the photograph or image. Let me try it. And uh, if I paste the address, just go to any website pixels 
dot com and I basically want to download this image so I can simply copy image address simply paste this address inside this click on download you can see guys this uh, jpg file has been downloaded if I try to open this file this is the same image file you can see that guys it is successfully downloaded so it's a very good library guys download js you can simply copy link address again paste it so you can see that guys so it's very easy uh, to basically download text image blob anything you can download it totally up to you and you can simply type here download.js it has its own uh, github repository as well just type github and uh, you will basically see this is the official documentation which is given so basically I'm getting this code from here it can even be work with Ajax also so if you want to work with Ajax you can even work it XML HTTP request and you can make a get request and uh, let me make a get request to this URL so just paste this URL so we are making a get request to this uh, URL uh, the response will be blob and uh, here we can have this image downloaded here so if you refresh now your image will be downloaded guys you can see awesome source.png you can open that and your image has been downloaded so it's pretty simple guys you can work with ajax uh, or as well just make a get request and convert that uh, image to blob and then you can download it with custom file names so it's a very good library download.js it's a great alternative to file saver js as well and thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much please hit that like button guys subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next one